I'm at Queensboro Plaza. Um, it's the end of my trip, but I'm starting the video with this little introduction that uh, I'm going to go into the heart, uh, the, uh, the epicenter of the pandemic, even more so than when I went to Flushing last week on Saturday. This, I'm really going into it. Though we are past peak and, and, and are doing much, much better with all the restrictions in the pause program. So uh, I'll show you what I saw. Everybody's got masks on. That's a good sign. A little late, but only had it earlier. But I guess if we didn't have the epidemic, we wouldn't go into the crisis mode of taking care of this as seriously as we need to in order to uh, eradicate it. Transfer available to the 7 train. What I call the train of death. Sometimes I just don't feel like saying anything. Attention everyone. So there are those who are out for whatever reason that may be in their lives. And then there are filmmakers like me who are out. New York is looking more and more dismal. I call this the train of death, the number seven elevated because it goes into the heart, the epicenter of the world's pandemic. Two trains at the same time. Let's see. There's the end train to Astoria and the seven train to Flushing as I took last week. It is crowded and there's bicycles here. So let's see what I can do. Thank you.
Okay, here I am. Roosevelt Avenue in Woodside. Let's see how this place looks like. This place was always a little dirty. Now... I'm gonna go for a ride. And there are people out trying to separate for food. Oh, my brakes, I friggin' watched them. Ooh, they got food. There's a line. Nice, full market. Very nice. Be crowded. Full market. And it's raining. Wow, they got a lot of supermarkets, one after the other here open. There's no shortage of food here in Roosevelt Avenue. Better than what I've got in Astoria. You're wearing your masks. Oh, it's really raining. It's supposed to have stopped raining, but now it is raining. And not good for my equipment. Oh boy, it's really coming down now. I'm a little worried about this. I got nowhere to go inside. I smell fried chicken. Man, this place is loaded with food and supplies. So, uh, Roosevelt Avenue in Queens, even though uh, we're in the epicenter, epicenter of the pandemic, it is thriving with all the things you need. You to stop right on the. They're open too. Yeah. Okay, I'm not happy about that. Well, now I've got a friggin' hill to climb. Ah, oh, damn. There we go. This is going to be a long one. Can I ask you, sir, which way to the hospital? Which hospital? Elmhurst. Straight? And I'll see you. <sighs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. Oh, the police are here. The hell's Elmer's hospital? <sighs> Whoa, that's not good. <clears throat> I gotta walk this down. Great. Oh. Oh, I gotta go uphill. 69th Street. Seeing things that I haven't seen before. Tracks. Look at that. Oh. 
I don't know where I'm going. I'm in Jackson Heights. It's also a pretty bad area. Hello, do you know Elmhurst Hospital? Yes. Make a right turn on Broadway? Yeah. Okay. Past the blue? Pass. Okay. Go all the way down to the big one. Uh huh. Yeah, and make a right turn. Go all the way down. Okay, and I'll get to it then. Okay. It's a big place. I won't miss it. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Here it is. Oh my god, I didn't know. It wasn't a right, it's right there. Oh my god. This is pretty eerie and creepy. Okay, I'm at Elmhurst Hospital. These are the tents, just like you see on TV. Get some space, people. Get by. It's deadly quiet. No people waiting. There's nobody here. Well, at least things are getting better around here. <laughs> tents, as it was a few weeks ago. Center. Well, definitely looks a lot more. Yeah, thank you. Pandemic. Virus knows no borders. And New York's doing the best it can. Look at those gurneys. And yeah. Well, I'm glad to not hear sirens of them coming in. Wow. for us here now. Well, I'm glad I'm here as things are going down. But my God, are there a lot of ambulances. More than I've seen at Mount Sinai, more than I've seen anywhere. And if I can go around the whole place.
Thank you very much. Go around the whole hospital. Oxygen. They certainly need oxygen. It still seems eerie here. I've been to this hospital under unfortunate circumstances. I'll have to explain another day. Terrible, terrible circumstances overnight. Thankfully, I was released in the morning. It was a Saturday, like today, overnight. And Sunday morning I got released. The doctor came in at 9 a.m. with his breakfast from McDonald's. He didn't even look at me and he sent me home. I don't think I'm allowed to enter here. There's a truck there. I don't want to know what that truck is. There's another one and another one. Thermo King. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is New York. That's what it is to be like in New York. You can actually get to see these things. There are three trucks here. This is frightening. It's uh, it's going to my soul right now. Oh my God, I'm out of here. Did a full triangle. It's so strangely quiet. Yeah, this is the place I went in. Hospital police. I hope they're past. No, well, it's not like I expected. I have to come out here for myself, not what it shows on TV. I have to see this my way. Hello. Uh, yeah. How are you? Did they stop? Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, is that what testing is closed? Yeah, testing tomorrow. What time? Nine to one. Nine to one. Thank you. Yeah. Testing is closed. Nine to one. That's why no one's here. I've got to come in the morning.
Not that I really want to. I prefer it like this. I can get around a lot easier. Those people. All right, I'm going back to Roosevelt Avenue. I gotta really navigate here using. Luckily, I was an excellent bicyclist. I hear sirens. So. exactly what I saw riding a bicycle uh, wearing the head cam and now I will uh, head back to Astoria Queens where I live with the end frame and you know things are about to wait for that. I couldn't believe what I saw. It was very eerie, uh, surreal and today is just been strangely quiet. So you know, I heard owls today in my apartment like I was living in the woods. And uh, 30 years in New York City living here and 55 years uh, from Long Island and, and being in New York City going to NYU, so I, I never experienced anything like that. So I do know I have a lot of familiarity with the city. But uh, what I saw today was unlike what I saw, especially uh, the refrigerators. They were very moving. And that's not a, that's a nice word. Uh, uh, Quite scary went to my soul and when you heard the compressors kick in that really got to me anyway this is New York in a pandemic and it's pretty serious when it comes to a city this is not the country this is not the beach this is not Nebraska with cows this is uh, the most densely part of the United States and the United States has not done the precautions as other countries have done uh, as far as uh, quarantine you know, we're a free society and uh, culturally, uh, you know, we don't want to wear masks. We saw other people doing that. Now we've got to do it. And now we have to do it. And we're going to have to continue to do it. So uh, this ra reality has finally come upon us. It's not, uh, it's not a dream, a nightmare.